Rivers are often thought of as simple natural features on our planet. However, these flowing bodies of water, often running through cities, forests, and fields, are not so simple. Through the years, countless discoveries have surfaced from these bodies of water. Discoveries that make people intrigued and at the same time fear venturing into unknown waters. From the most famous face in the world to a fish with human teeth, here are the 20 scariest things found in rivers. Number 20. Lady of the River Sin Have you ever gazed upon a face so hauntingly beautiful, yet so enigmatic, that it stays with you long after? Well, that's precisely what the face of the woman discovered from the River Sin made many feel. In the 19th century, a young woman was discovered in the River Sin. She was found floating in the water, showing no signs of life. But there was something about her face. It was calm, almost like she was just sleeping. With her identity unknown, she caught the attention of many. In fact, after the discovery, a pathologist thought her face was so remarkable that he made a cast of it, a death mask. This mask, showing her gentle features and a hint of a smile, started to get around. People made copies, and soon, this woman's face was showing up everywhere. In people's homes, in art studios, you name it. And so, in today's time, you can see the Lady of the River Sen's face almost everywhere. But perhaps she's more known for being the model for the CPR dummy, Resusian. That's right, the most kissed face in the world. But even with all this fame, nobody knows who she really was. Her story is still a big mystery. The Lady of the River Sen's story is wild when you think about it. Despite being known by many, her real story was never uncovered. Surely, any viewers in the medical field must have heard about this story already. If so, can you share some other fun facts? Or rather, not so fun facts about the Lady of the River Sen? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Matoba River Monster In the Matoba River lies a cryptid known as the Nguma Monene. According to local legends, this creature is a gigantic snake-like creature. People describe it as being incredibly long, with a body resembling a spirit and a head that's often compared to a lizard's. The name itself translates to Big Python or Big Snake in Lingala, a local language in the Congo. What keeps this legend alive are the sightings. Over the years, there have been various reports by locals and even some explorers who claim to have seen this creature. These sightings describe the Nguma Monene as being anywhere from 30 to 50 feet long, with a spine or crest running along its back. That's no small fish. It's often described to be grayish-brown in color, with a forked tongue and short legs. It resembles a crocodile, a Komodo dragon, or a monitor lizard. There have been many sightings documented of this creature, but much of it remains a mystery. Of course, with any legend like this, there's a lot of skepticism. Is it a new species yet to be discovered? Or is it a case of mistaken identity, where known animals are being exaggerated into something more mythical? The answers aren't clear, and the mystery of the Nguma Monene remains. Number 18. Roman Ghost Town Imagine a village lost underwater for nearly 2,000 years suddenly reappearing. That's exactly what happened in Spain, where a record-breaking drought led to the rediscovery of a Roman ghost village, submerged under the Lima River in Galicia, northwest Spain. This village, believed to be the Roman military camp known as Aquis Quirquenis, vanished under the waters of a reservoir on the Lima River centuries ago. If it weren't for the severe drought, it would have remained hidden. It was believed that around 75 AD, this village played a significant role in Roman military strategy. Aquis Quirquenis was a bustling hub for up to 600 Roman soldiers. It had barracks, a hospital, a temple, and even thermal baths. Despite its importance, it was abandoned a century later and eventually submerged by the river. Recent drone footage and aerial photographs have captured the extent of the ruins. The images show perfectly organized stone structures and cobblestones, untouched for thousands of years, now visible as the water recedes. Trees overlooking the incredible ruins have led many to wonder what other historical secrets lie hidden beneath these waters. Transformed from a once bustling hub of Roman life to a submerged forgotten ruin, this ghost town is indeed an important find. It's unfortunate to think that such an important ruin won't remain visible for long. Number 17. Alti Altima Haha, affectionately nicknamed Alti, is among the many cryptids that allegedly reside in rivers, particularly in the murky waters of Georgia's Altamaha River. The Altamaha's roots lie deep in the Muscogee tradition, 
This creature is often compared with the alligator Gar because of its appearance. In time, its existence became part of the local lore as well. Over the years, numerous sightings around Darien and McIntosh County have kept the legend alive. These accounts describe a serpent-like creature, further fueling the belief of many in the existence of Alti. One of the most notable incidents surrounding Alti occurred in 2018 when decomposing remains were found on a beach in the Wolf Island National Wildlife Refuge. This sparked widespread speculation about the Altamaha's existence. However, it was later revealed that the remains were a creation of performance artist Zardulu, made from a stuffed shark and paper mache. Today, perhaps the most tangible evidence of Alti is an art piece. Rick Spears, a paleo artist, created a sculpture of the Altamaha, which is displayed at the Darren McIntosh County Visitor Center. The sculpture serves as a tangible representation of the creature and its existence in the local culture. Number 16. Nile Crocodile in the Seine River In 1984, Paris council workers were busy in the sewers near the Seine River when they stumbled upon something extraordinary. There, amidst the city's underbelly, lived an enormous Nile crocodile, which was soon affectionately nicknamed Eleanor. How she ended up there remains a mystery, but it's speculated that she was once a pet that outgrew her welcome and was released into the wild, a sadly common thing to do especially for exotic pets. Once the initial shock wore off, a rescue operation was launched. Eleanor was captured and relocated to a Paris zoo, and later moved to an aquarium in Vans, a town on the southern coast of Brittany. There, her enclosure was designed to replicate the Paris sewers, providing a familiar environment for her. And so, Eleanor grew to an impressive size of 8 feet and weighed around 550 pounds, believed to be about 40 years old at her largest. She lived a long life for a Nile crocodile, especially one with such an unusual history. After the Vans Aquarium closed in 2020, she was moved to a reserve in Drome. Unfortunately, due to the stress of moving and her age, Eleanor passed away on June 8, 2021. Number 15. Claudius Head in the Alb In 1907, a discovery that would intrigue historians for years to come was made in Suffolk, England. A local boy, during an ordinary day near the River Alde, stumbled upon a bronze head to the Roman Emperor Claudius. This artifact linked the quiet hamlet of Rendum to the narratives of Roman Britain. The boy found the head in the river and brought it to the local antiquary. The head, now housed in the British Museum, bears marks of violence. It appears to have been hacked off from a statue with a blow to the back of the head. This discovery raised questions about how and why the head ended up in the River Alde. It's thought that the head originally part of a statue from the Temple of Claudius in Colchester, was ritually slaughtered and dedicated to a Celtic river god by the Iceni and Trinovantes tribes during Boudicca's revolt in AD 60-61. This act was a symbolic rejection of Roman rule and the desecration of a symbol of the Emperor Claudius, who had invaded Britannia in AD 43. The head of Claudius from the River Alde proved the turbulent history of Roman Britain. The culture clashes between the Roman invaders and the native tribes and the enduring mysteries of the past that continue to fascinate us today. Number 14. 15,000 Bicycles In an extraordinary cleanup effort that turned heads around the world, the Canal Saint-Martin in Paris revealed its long-hidden secrets. Drained from cleaning for the first time since 2001, this project unveiled a staggering and somewhat unnerving sight. Thousands of bicycles, among other things, resting at the canal's bottom. The canal drainage, a task undertaken to clean and maintain this historic waterway exposed what a decade and a half of pollution had deposited in its depths. Among the most striking finds were numerous bicycles, which appeared in such abundance that they almost seemed to have been deliberately pushed into the water over the years. While specific numbers may vary, the discovery of a multitude of bicycles and even motorbikes was not only surprising, but also a grim reminder of the pollution challenges faced by urban waterways. The sight of these bikes piled upon one another illustrates a disturbing trend of disregard for the environment. This discovery served as a wake-up call regarding the consequences of pollution and the importance of responsible waste disposal. The accumulation of such large amounts of waste, including bikes and motorbikes, has detrimental effects on marine life and water quality. Number 13. Unexploded World War II Bomb Imagine strolling along the dry bed of a river in Italy perhaps enjoying the unusual sight of a riverbed exposed to the sun. But then, you stumble upon something that looks like a relic from the past, 
turning a leisurely walk into a page out of a history book. What you found is not just any relic, it's an unexploded bomb from World War II. This isn't a scene from a movie, but a real occurrence that took place in Italy. The discovery of an unexploded World War II bomb in a dried up Italian river is not just a thrilling find, it's a stark reminder of the enduring scars of war. The bomb, likely a remnant from the fierce battles that raged across Europe over 70 years ago, lay dormant, buried under the silt and mud of the river. But why was it there? Well, during the war, rivers and bridges were strategic points, often targeted to disrupt enemy movement. This bomb may have been aimed at a nearby bridge or a troop movement and never detonated. Number 12. Green Anaconda When we think of river inhabitants, our minds often go to fish, maybe a few amphibians, or even some aquatic mammals. But there's another, perhaps more surprising resident of these watery realms, the green anaconda. Not many people are aware that snakes, particularly such large ones, can thrive in river environments. In the lush greenery of the Amazon rainforest is the green anaconda. It's one of the largest snakes in the world and is as much at home in these waters as any fish or otter. Why do these massive serpents, which can grow up to an astonishing 30 feet in length, choose rivers as their habitat? The answer lies in their incredible adaptation to an aquatic lifestyle. Green anacondas are adept swimmers. Their eyes and nostrils are positioned on top of their heads, allowing them to see and breathe while the rest of their body is submerged. In the river, the anaconda is an apex predator. It's here that this giant snake hunts, camouflaged by the murky waters, waiting patiently for unsuspecting prey like fish, birds, or even small mammals that come to drink. But unlike the aggressive hunters of popular imagination, anacondas are ambush predators, relying on stealth rather than speed. The presence of such a formidable snake in rivers often evokes fear and fascination. But despite their size and prowess, green anacondas are not a common sight. They're elusive, preferring to remain hidden in the depths or the dense vegetation along riverbanks. This lack of visibility perhaps contributes to the common misconception that snakes are not river dwellers. The reality, however, is that many snake species are quite at home in aquatic environments, and the green anaconda is a prime example of this adaptation. Number 11. Red-bellied piranha When you hear the word piranha, what comes to mind? Probably a swarm of ferocious fish with razor-sharp teeth, right? This image, largely popularized by movies and media, is primarily associated with one notorious species, the red-bellied piranha. Regarded as one of the most terrifying creatures discovered in rivers, these fish have a reputation that precedes them. These creatures call the Amazon basin their home. Within these thriving waters, a fish, feared and misunderstood for decades, remains concealed beneath the surface. The red-bellied piranha, with its distinctive red underbelly and a mouth full of sharp teeth, is a sight to behold. But what makes the red-bellied piranha so feared? It's not just their appearance, it's their reputation for being voracious predators. Movies and sensational stories have painted them as ravenous beasts that can strip a creature to the bone in minutes. But how much of this is fact, and how much is fiction? In reality, the red-bellied piranha is a complex creature. Yes, they have a set of sharp teeth and a powerful bite, and they can be aggressive, especially when hungry or threatened. But they're also scavengers, often feeding on dead or dying fish rather than actively hunting large prey. The social behavior of red-bellied piranhas is also fascinating. They usually swim in groups, not necessarily for cooperative hunting, but for protection. In the wild, there's safety in numbers, and these fish know it. Their infamous feeding frenzy behavior is more about opportunism and competition among themselves than an orchestrated attack. However, their fearsome reputation isn't entirely without merit. In certain situations, like in times of food scarcity or environmental stress, red-bellied piranhas can become more aggressive, potentially threatening other creatures in the water, including humans. Number 10. The Hunger Stones Hidden beneath the waters of some European rivers lies historical markers of past hardships, the Hunger Stones. Its name alone is horrifying enough, don't you think? But what are they really? These stones are reminders of the hardships caused by droughts a long time ago. The Hunger Stones serve as historical records from eras when extreme droughts led to significant drops in river levels. Inscribed with years and sometimes ominous messages, these stones were placed by those who previously endured the hardships of these drought periods. They offer a tangible connection to the struggles and resilience of our ancestors. In the Elbe River, 
One will find a particularly famous hunger stone bearing the inscription, If you see me, weep. Now I don't know about you, but even with the knowledge that it's merely an ancient inscription, the sight of these words would instill a sense of horror in me. They remind us of the cyclical nature of the climate and the hardships that can arise from environmental issues. Number 9. Nero's Bridge A recent drought in Italy, described as the worst in 70 years, has led to the remarkable resurfacing of an ancient bridge known as Nero's Bridge, or the Pons Neronianus. This bridge, once a part of Rome's rich architectural landscape, was built in the first century, likely under Emperor Nero or his predecessor, Emperor Caligula. Located near the Tiber River, close to the Vatican, the bridge originally connected the city to Nero's gardens on the Janiculum Hill, near what is now St. Peter's Square. However, by the 3rd century, the bridge had fallen into disrepair and was largely abandoned. Traffic was subsequently redirected to the nearby Sant'Angelo Bridge, which played a key role in funneling pilgrims past the Castel Sant'Angelo to the Vatican. Nero's bridge is believed to have originally consisted of four piers, but two were dismantled in the 19th century to improve the flow of river traffic. The recent drought conditions in Italy have lowered the Tiber River's water level significantly, revealing much more of the bridge's remaining structures than is typically visible. In most years, only parts of one pier are visible during the driest season, but the current conditions have exposed parts of a second pier. The government has declared a state of emergency in several regions due to the prolonged drought and accompanying heat wave. But along with this extreme heat that dried up some bodies of water across the world, several forgotten historical sites surfaced. Number 8. Shark in the Ohio River The Ohio River, winding through several U.S. states, is known for its serene beauty and diverse ecosystem. However, even in these waters, a bull shark was a rare find. After all, it's a species typically found in coastal waters. And so, when a bull shark was found in the Ohio River in 2021, Many were dumbfounded, perhaps more so because only its head remained. Bull sharks, known for their ability to adapt to various water conditions, are one of the few shark species that can survive in both salt and fresh water. The discovery of the bull shark in the Ohio River raises intriguing questions about the behavior and migration patterns of these animals. Typically found in warm, shallow waters along coasts and rivers close to the sea, bull sharks are known to travel upstream. However, reaching the Ohio River is an impressive feat indicating a remarkable level of endurance and adaptability. Hopefully, this will be the last time these predators venture into the river. But perhaps there wasn't a need to worry in the first place. After all, many believe the head was merely thrown into the river to create a buzz among the locals. Number 7. Kendaru In the vast and diverse ecosystem of the Amazon River, there exists a tiny creature that has garnered a notorious reputation, the Kendaru, also known as the vampire fish, this small, parasitic catfish has become the subject of many legends due to its unusual and somewhat disconcerting habits. The kandaroo is a small, translucent fish, typically no more than a few centimeters long. Its natural habitat is the murky waters of the Amazon River, where it typically preys on the blood of larger fish. It uses its sharp mouth parts to attach itself to the gills of its host, feeding in a parasitic manner. What makes the kandaroo particularly noteworthy is its reputed tendency to target humans, which has been the subject of much discussion and debate. While documented instances are extremely rare, the mere idea has contributed to the fish's fearsome reputation. Despite its alarming reputation, the kandaroo plays a role in the ecological balance of the Amazon River. As a parasite, it's part of a complex food web, contributing to the overall health of the river ecosystem. The kandaroo shows how diverse the Amazon truly is. The river is home to a myriad of creatures, each with its own unique adaptations for survival. Number 6. The Goonch The Goonch catfish, native to the murky waters of rivers like the Ganges and the Mekong, is a true giant among freshwater fish. At least, that's what testimonies say. Specimens have been reported to grow over 6 feet long and weigh more than 100 kilograms. This size, quite rare for freshwater fish, has contributed to the goonch's legendary status among local communities. But what exactly is it about the goonch that captures the imagination? Part of it is their elusive nature. Despite their size, goonch catfish are not commonly seen. They prefer the deeper, quieter parts of rivers, often hiding in shadows, which adds to their mysterious aura. The diet of the goonch is also a topic of interest. They're opportunistic feeders, typically consuming fish, and occasionally scavenging. 
There have been sensational stories about their feeding habits, but these are more myth than reality. However, there are claims that this particular catfish is so big that it can consume humans as well. This is a topic of debate to this day. However, many continue to believe that disappearances near the river can be attributed to the infamous Goonch. Number 5. Lizard Man of Skateboar Swamp In the heart of South Carolina's swamp lies a perplexing and captivating legend, the Lizard Man of Skateboar Swamp. This elusive creature, depicted as a reptilian humanoid standing over seven feet tall with dark scaly skin, first appeared in the late 1980s. It sparked public fascination with tales of encounters and unexplained vehicle damage, all attributed to this mysterious swamp-dwelling enigma. An airman stationed at a local base filed a police report claiming to have encountered the Lizard Man on Highway 15, initially stating he had shot it. He presented scales and blood as evidence, but later confessed to fabricating the story. The admission revealed the sighting was a hoax to keep interest in Lizard Man stories. A local radio station even announced a $1 million reward for anyone who could capture the elusive creature alive, but no one succeeded. While concrete evidence of the lizard man's existence remains elusive, the stories continue to spread. Number 4. Bolton Strid This discovery isn't exactly an object, but a body of water itself. Bolton Strid is a narrow stretch of the River Wharf in Yorkshire, England. At first glance, this stream appears charming and benign, merely a brook you could jump across. Yet beneath its serene surface lies a deadly reality. What makes the Bolton Strid so perilous is its unique geological formation. The river narrows significantly at this point, but instead of losing any volume, it turns sideways, creating a deep and powerful current below. The Strid is riddled with underwater caves and strong undercurrents that can easily pull and trap anything, or any one that falls into it. Despite its picturesque setting, the Bolton Strid has a somber reputation. It's believed that nearly every person who has fallen into the Strid has not survived. This shocking statistic is hard to believe with its peaceful appearance, making the Bolton Strid a striking example of nature's hidden dangers. Number 3. 100,000-Year-Old Woolly Mammoth Bones Just this year, an 8-year-old had the most serendipitous find. While exploring along a river in western Russia, this young explorer stumbled upon something extraordinary, the bones of a woolly mammoth a creature that roamed the earth over a hundred thousand years ago. She found the condyle, or knee joint, of the creature. Naturally, the young child and his father were floored by the unexpected discovery. The bone was then reported to the local museum, who happily examined and took care of it. Number 2. Whale in the Thames River Whales have no business in rivers, but in 2006, a whale nicknamed Willy somehow found its way into the River Thames. This unusual visitor, far from its natural ocean habitat, captured the attention of the locals at the time. Rescue teams worked tirelessly, with veterinarians and marine experts on hand to provide the necessary care in attempt to rescue operation. Unfortunately, despite the best efforts of rescue teams, the whale, which was identified as a juvenile, faced challenges in the unfamiliar environment of the Thames. The river, with its bustling activity and different water conditions, is not an ideal habitat for a whale which typically requires vast ocean spaces to thrive. And now it's time for today's topic. Authorities decided to drain this river, but didn't expect to find this at the bottom. Several rivers and canals are often drained at least once every decade. This ensures that the riverbed and flow won't be disturbed. Even Niagara Falls was once drained to fix the cracks. And each time these bodies of water get drained, authorities are often baffled by what they find at the bottom. When this river was drained, Authorities discovered trash, which was expected, and they also discovered valuable and vintage items, from outdated and rare vehicles to artifacts. However, they didn't expect to find an allegedly cursed artifact at the bottom of the river. This artifact, a modest trinket, was believed to bring bad luck to those who encountered it. So what did the authorities do? They left it alone. There are just some things you just don't mess with. Number 1. Fish with Human Teeth now imagine you're strolling along a serene riverbank, perhaps in the Amazon Basin or a river in Papua New Guinea. The water is clear, and you see a variety of fish swimming. But then, something unusual catches your eye. A fish with teeth that look eerily similar to human teeth. Meet the Paku, a freshwater fish that has baffled scientists and fishermen alike with its distinctly human-like dental structure. 
Unlike their sharp-toothed carnivorous relatives, the piranhas, pacos are mostly peaceful fruit eaters. Their teeth are uncannily similar to ours, flat and perfect for crushing and grinding, not tearing flesh. But how did these fish end up with such teeth? It turns out this creepy dental design is perfect for their diet. Pacos primarily feed on nuts, seeds, and fruits that fall into the water. Those human-like chompers are ideal for cracking open tough shells and grinding down hard seeds. Interestingly, these unique fish have managed to invade rivers far from their native habitats, like those in Southeast Asia and some parts of the United States. While this might sound like the plot of a B-movie, it's actually a consequence of the exotic pet trade and accidental releases. While their teeth might give them a somewhat menacing look, Pacos are generally not a threat to humans. However, their presence in non-native waters can be a concern for the local ecosystem. They compete with native species for food and space, sometimes disrupting the natural balance. So next time you're near a river, keep an eye out. You might just spot one of these bizarre-looking creatures. Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you have any experiences that are fit for today's video, feel free to share them as well. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.